everyone hope you are keeping well I just want to encourage you and build your faith up and I want to encourage you to talk to your father who's waiting expectantly waiting till you talk to him and it says that God does not think except in response to believing prayer so God will not move until we believe and we ask him until we pray to him you know that God is all-powerful and full of power and full of strength and God expects his children and he wants to have a relationship with you and I and he wants us to approach him boldly and ask him and do you know that God calls us his children and this says that we are no longer slaves we are no longer servants but God has called us his children and when he calls us his children there are some benefits so I just want to talk to you about it today so it's like uh, if, we, if you're a servant you're an employee let's say we have a servant in the house he's an employee just like that in the kingdom of God if you are a servant you're just an employee but God calls us we are not any more servants we are his children and you know if we are children we are not an employee but we are the employers children so we are his own children so that's a great benefit and then if you are a servant you can't be anywhere you can't be in the in the presence of the employer you cannot be closer to God but because we are not servants but we are children of God we can be in God's presence we don't have to be afraid to enter God's presence we can be anywhere where God is we can be in his presence because we are his children and then we if you are a servant you cannot move the hand of God like you cannot if you come to the master and tell him your needs um, it depends if he if he really wants to help you he will help but if you are a child you can move the heart of the father so you can approach to God boldly and you can move his heart you can tell your need tell your concern and he will be moved because we are his children so that's the difference between a servant and a child and then next one is um, we are, if you are a servant you can you can only tell your master help me or bless me but if you are a child your father wants to bless you and help you and he is thinking of ways to bless you and help you so that's the difference and then uh, if you are a servant the measurement of your success in life or your wages would be the results of your uh, measurements like how much numbers of things you did today but if you are a child of God your measurement is not that your measurement is to please the father and the father is to be pleased so if you are a servant you want to um, have how much things to do like I did so much today but if you are a child of God you want to please your father you want to please your father it's not how much you did but did he was he pleased with your work that's what you're gonna look for and then if you are a servant you have no access to the secret places of the secret things of God but if you are a child of God you have full access you like I told before you can go to the secret place of God and you can be in God's presence because you are a child of God and then servant is not asked before before the father before the master makes a decision he would not ask the servant but if you are a child of God God wants your feedback God wants to know what you think of it like uh, when um, when uh, when Abraham um, cried to God and uh, he said do not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah it says that God came to Abraham and God asked his counsel asked him what to do you know so just like that God if you are his child he would want your counsel and he would want your feedback 
But if you are a servant of God, you would not get that. You would not get that privilege. And then, if you are, um, if you are, a, if you are a servant of God, um, you have to be faithful in everything. You have to be careful with everything. But you, but if you are a child of God, God loves you no matter what. If you do, if you don't love Him back, He still loves you. That's the unconditional love of a father towards his children, and He loves us so no matter what. No matter, just like the prodigal son who took uh, his father's things and went away and destroyed everything. But still the father was waiting with arms open wide, waiting for him to come back to him. So just like, so that's the privilege of being a child of God. So I hope that you will enjoy to, to the presence of God and being a child of God. Because being a child of God, God really loves it. And then it says that God is moved by the prayers of God's children and God is moved like Abraham cried to God and said do not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah even if there's 10 people who do, who knows you do not destroy and God heard Abraham's prayer so just like that you can move the heart of God because you are a child of God and um, it says in the Bible that we are no longer slaves but we are children of God. We are God's friends and we are God's children. And Jesus says, says in the Bible that Jesus says, I'm telling you all these secrets. I'm telling you all this wisdom because I call you my friend. I call you not slaves, but I call you my children and my friends. So it's amazing. So that's why Jesus was came, Jesus came to this earth to die for you and me. Because he loves us, he wouldn't want, he, no, no master would lay down his life for the slaves, but a master would lay down his life for his children. So that's why Jesus came to die for you and me, so that we can have eternal life. So God is amazing, and he says in the Bible, in James chapter 1 verse 5, If you lack wisdom, ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. And God gives everything. So Jesus says, ask and it shall be given to you. And Jesus says that you don't have, you lack because you do not ask. So don't give up. Keep on asking. Keep on pressing on and asking. And God is moved by his heart when we call to him, when we ask him, when we keep on asking him. Just like a father who is moved when your child comes and asks several times the same thing she wants or he wants it and God the Father is moved just like that our God our Heavenly Father is moved when we keep on asking him and he is able he's saying ask you don't have it because you do not ask so God saying to ask according to his will and he will give it to you so we are poor laborers with God you can see that God, when he created Adam and Eve and when he created the beautiful garden of Eden, he wanted Adam and Eve to look after the garden. And God wanted, God didn't just create stuff and didn't want people to be involved in it. But God created the earth and he created Adam and Eve to, and got them to co-labor with God. He wanted them to be part of his plan. He created angels, but he didn't want the angels to be that inheritance. To experience the inheritance but his people who were created in God's image you and I we have been created in God's image and he wants us to co-labor with him he wants us to work together to save all his people and you know his plan is is to save everyone he doesn't want none to perish but everyone to receive everlasting life do you know that this is not the only earth that we are gonna live we're gonna have everlasting life in heaven when we die because we are all going to die one day and you know that when we die do you have guaranteed where are you going to go do you have guaranteed that you're going to go to heaven and be with God and if you do not know God in earth how can you expect to know him in heaven so that's why I want to encourage you to know him now talk to him now even if you don't know anything about God just say it to him he's waiting to hear from you just say Father, I want to receive you. I want to know you 
show me, show yourself to me and God will come into your heart and he will show himself to you and he will help you to help you to um, ask you ask for forgiveness for your sins and he will help you to come out of your sin because God can do the impossible and God um, God does not want anyone to perish but everyone to have eternal life so always remember that God wants you to be his child and he no longer makes you a slave not a servant anymore but you are a child of God you are a citizen of his kingdom and he loves you so very much so I just want to encourage you that to be bold and come into his presence with boldness because just like um, I can um, tell you like a woman who was in the uh, on the road when Jesus was walking and he she came and she said to God Jesus um, father uh, Jesus I have a child who is sick can you heal that child and uh, she looked and Jesus didn't respond and uh, Jesus' disciples said go away go away but that woman was not giving up she kept on asking Jesus and said Jesus come and heal my child my child is sick and then um, it, she was a Canaanite woman and Jesus said don't you know that um, the bread belongs to God's people and not for you not for dogs but uh, that woman was not offended but that woman kept on pressing God and said um, Jesus even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table so because Jesus saw that faith that she had in Jesus and that faith that didn't give up was not offended and Jesus was moved and Jesus said this woman has great faith and immediately immediately her child was well so just like that if you feel like your prayers are not being answered and you are crying every day praying every day and it's not happening don't give up and don't just say that I'm waiting on God to move and don't do anything about it but keep on pressing like that woman keep on crying to God keep on pressing on God and ask God to move on your behalf and heal your child heal and heal your body and uh, whatever situation or problems or trials you might have to overcome it and God can give you the strength that you need just like that so do not God is moved when people of belief people who have faith speak to him and pray to him and cry to him and knock at the door Jesus even said this parable of where this master judge was sleeping in the night and this woman came and knocked on the door many times and asked for bread and this uh, this judge didn't want to judge said, it's too late it's like night time now go away and but that woman didn't give up kept on knocking kept on knocking kept on knocking and just because that judge was so angry with this woman but just because of this constant 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 calling on him he was fed up and he just gave the bread that he just gave whatever she wanted so just like that we have to go to God's presence we have to go to God and cry to him keep on knocking keep on pressing heaven's door because it says that God is moved by his children who are in faith and ask him in prayer so we have to intercede for behalf of our children for our family for for the world for who are perishing so I just want to ask you if you have never accepted Jesus as Lord of your life you can pray with me now and also I want to tell you that nothing is impossible to God if you have a need and if you have prayed about it and nothing has happened do not give up don't pray one time and two times or three times or even hundred times and stop but keep on praying I can tell you that I've been praying for my children for 13 years 13 years and I can see that little by little God is healing them and they are coming to the hundred percentage of complete healing their minds are completely sound minds they have sound minds I can tell you that God has redeemed them God has freed their minds so God can do the impossible through our life so if you want to accept Jesus pray with me now father we come to you we thank you that you are amazing God amazing father faithful father who loves and who looks after us 
you see everything you feel everything lord we come to you over and over and over again to you lord coming to your feet and crying to you to help us redeem us lord and heal our bodies lord if anyone who's listening who's sick anyone who's listening who's going through hard times anyone who's listening who's lacking things lord i thank you that you are a father who wants to give the best for your children we are your children lord when we accept you as lord of our lives lord so i pray that if anyone who's listening who doesn't know you but want to accept you as the lord of your life open their hearts soften their hearts that they would accept jesus as lord of your of their life and their hearts would be open for your word that you plant your seeds in their hearts lord and that they would grow lord in knowing you loving you feeling you depending on you all through their lives lord forgive their sins forgive our sins and cleanse us and heal us we thank you that you said that we will blot away our sin that is colored red and crimson and make it white as snow thank you for all your many promises lord thank you that you have said that your children will not lack anything that they would not be begging for bread but you will provide all of our needs lord lord i thank you for many blessings i thank you that you said by your stripes that we are healed lord we claim on all those promises and we thank you that you are moved you are moved by our prayers because we are your children and you are our father we love you lord be glorified in our lives in jesus name we pray amen so i hope you were encouraged i just want to sing one song to you and it's called you unravel me with the melody in it and it says that we are no longer slaves to fear we don't have to live in fear because we are children of God and we don't have fear anymore but we have faith and the faith will be built up in your life by hearing the word of God and reading the word of God and seeing the word of God so keep on reading and hearing and speaking and watching the word of God and God will build your faith and take away your fear so I hope you'll be an encouraged today and just want to sing this one. It's called You Unravel Me. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemy till all my fears are gone. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. From my mother's womb, you have chosen me. Life has called my name. I've been born again into a family your blood flows through my veins i'm no longer a slave to fear i am a child of god i'm no longer a slave to fear i am a child of You split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears were drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I can stand and say, I am a child of God. You split the sea so I can walk right through it. My fears were drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I can stand and say, I am a child of God. So you and I, if you accept Jesus as Lord of your life, 
you become a child of God. And I, as I told before, there are privileges of being in a, being a child of God. You can go to His presence boldly without being afraid. And He is your Father. He has great plans and purposes for you. And you are, can be close to Him in His presence. And He will, he will hear your prayers. And his heart will be moved by your words, by your prayers. And he wants the best for you because he is your father. And then his love is unending because he is your child. And God's kingdom, God's kingdom will be your benefit. So all these benefits of being access to God's presence and to be a child of God. So I hope you'll be encouraged. And if you have never accepted Jesus, that's the best thing that happened to me. I couldn't go through this life by myself. But because God is with us, God is leading us, guiding us, and helping us, giving us the strength we need, the joy unending that you can receive when you accept Jesus as Lord of your life. So I hope that your heart will be softened, that your heart will be open to receive God, and that you would pray to him, you would talk to him like you're talking to your friend, and he would be your king, he would be your father, he would be everything to you. God bless you, have a beautiful day, and today is beautiful, I just want to show you outside. Um, yeah, it is beautiful, so God bless you, bye bye.